Hello everybody, Ride Blocks here on a Saturday morning, and as you can see, my modular building, the detective's office, is a mess, <laughs> and I can tell you, and I can explain why. So the reason I took off all the time is because I'm going to show you guys a video of how to clean your bricks of tiles. So we have tiles in here, some ready built rock pieces we're heading to bed we're right now in my bathroom and we have some rock pieces as you can see over there and we're gonna clean them so first what you want to do is you want to make sure because you don't want tiles flying in there and how i usually deal with dust on these pieces and tiles from modular building they cannot be dusted off or you cannot even take a vacuum and just do that. You have to actually use it with water. So always get it early with the vacuum, but if you did not, you missed a couple of days or something, this is the key to cleaning your bricks. And these are called sticky syndrome. So what you're gonna wanna do is make sure all the pieces are off. It also happens on a one by one stud, even if it's a tile. Bricks are much easier to clean, but tiles are a bit harder. And then you have to clean them like that. Oh, the, and the leather wash. But they're not let that way. Clean this stuff. And always just give it a nice scrub. When you're done, you do that. And now, we're going to take it over here to the dryer. You just take a normal cloth like that. And there's a piece, as I, I'm feeling it, it, I feel the texture. It doesn't feel smooth or anything. It has that nice texture. As you can see in the camera, you see the detail right there where my thumb is pointing. It has that nice smooth texture. And how to know if, you're, if your tile bricks or any smooth bricks that don't have a lot of studs like bricks they always have a stickiness and it, it's like if you know how lego bricks feel lego bricks usually feel nice and glossy and you could just put your thumb like this and it smooths it nicely you can move it but when you have sticky syndrome you feel like this stick and you even feel it on your thumb literally sticking on your thumb so you can hear it that's the stick and it's how this happens is when you don't dust these, the, those types of tiling and rock pieces and any clear window pieces. So all your panel, clear panel lovers out there, you cannot have, you have to clean those really quick if they're on top, like the detective office ones, like these little windshields. So, like I said, and you're gonna have to do the same with the rock piece. Usually, I use full power like this, just to get it all in the corners. Make sure no pieces are attached to this, because you do not want it to jump around. Another way is, you can sink them in, and let them stay in there. But the best way is to just give it a test, the whole wash. And you just wash it for like 30 seconds. Like I said, we bring it to the dryer. See? And there you go, you have a nice new dry brick and it gets the so you don't hear that stick anymore. And it has the, the glossy feeling like Lego bricks should have. So just take a piece. This were for, this, all these rock pieces I'm cleaning were from an earlier mock that I did, which was never posted on my channel. And then I just took it apart. It wasn't so wonderful. So 
that's usually this is usually how I'll deal with these types of pieces. All the pieces are different, so I'm gonna teach you your own way. And what you're gonna wanna do for this is the same way. Just make sure you get it in there and all the pieces so you don't have to move the water around it. Even in the interior, like the bird is safe. Dry it like that. You get better grip with this piece because it's narrow, so you can use it with one hand. And there's your new brick. Just gotta let it dry a little bit more. Okay, so that's how you do it. And now for these tiny pieces, you're gonna just dump them in. And I'll explain how they feel. They really don't feel so wonderful. Even now, because your hands are wet, just give them a little bit of a wet on the tile piece and just sink them in. Do not, I do not recommend this with one by ones. Make sure it's a piece that you can see that's visible. I know one by ones are visible, but just they're too tiny. And then you're gonna wanna move them around so the dust can come off easier. And even for window pieces, you're going to want to, like a car, if you've been to a car wash, they, and they wash your car, you just, they soak it up with a brush. And then, leave it in like they are. And probably because of these windows, you're going to have to make it a little bit deeper. Even with the slopes, the one by two by 4 slopes. You put those in like that, and like I said, let them sit in for 30 seconds, which I believe it's past 30 even. It's past 30 seconds. And, and then even with some studs, they get hard to clean. Even like these pl plates, you want to want to or dub dub them like that so it ha and you need to do it on tiles and plates only for that and we just have a little bit more to clean but i think i should <clears throat> end the video now so thank you guys leave a thumbs up subscribe and share any of your thoughts and comments and i'll see you guys next time bye